All right, we got our crazy brew for good luck or maybe crazy luck. Let's see if it helps us out with this next opening. Tried doing the uh, short the one day a while back, I think for day four, and uh, I didn't like how it, it turned out compared to these videos, so I haven't done another one, but let me know if you think I should do some more of those uh, in the short format. I think I will, uh, but not for this uh, this series. So we'll just kind of see what we get here in the regular video format. Rio Disable Guardian Action. Not bad. Oh, a Time Snap Potion. Okay. There we go. Oh, Rare Foil Snatch. Uh, oh, it's a generic attack if it hits draw cards. You know, this, this with the four attack, I feel like, you know, you've got a good chance of that hitting because your opponent's got to decide, you know, basically, do I defend with two cards or not? There's not a lot that defends for four that I've seen. I mean, sure, if, if you get attacked with this and you've got a card that defends for four, maybe throw it on there. Or if you got a three, maybe plus an equipment might be worth, you know, throwing the equipment on there. I don't know. Uh, but that's a neat card. And foil. Rare foil. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Of course, good commons in the back. We got Bravo and Bravo. Oh, there we go. A perfect Bravo token. That's great. Yeah. And something worth mentioning. If you're new to the game, I'm new to the game. Uh, something you know, I really like in mechanic is the if you look at the colored stripe at the top, you've got your you've got reds, you've got yellows, you've got blues. We got a blue. Here's a blue. So the blue is going to give you like three resources when you pitch it. It's going to or people will say it pitches for three. Yellows are going to pitch for two. Reds going to pitch for one. But the red cards are are generally more powerful. So like if this card snatch, I assume because I think we've seen a yellow one. I assume it's in red, yellow, and blue, you're going to see something like, okay, the red one only pitches for one, but has an attack of four. The yellow pitches for two, so it pitches for more, but only will have like an attack of three. And then the blue is going to pitch for three and only have an attack of two. And so it kind of, you know, scales that way. So you're going to see that. I don't think in this pack we've got any duplicates with different pitch values uh, that I can show you. But that's the general thing that I've noticed, uh, and I think it's a uh, well-recognized pattern, uh, intentional by the game designers. I just think that's such a cool mechanic in this game, where you can have these cards, and you can actually run several of each of the different values. So there's some uh, TCGs out there where you can run, you know, two of a card, or three of a card, or four of a card, kind of depends on uh, the TCG, and... You know, this one, of course, has that restriction, but it's per color. So if I can run, you know, in Blitz, for example, I can run two of each color of, like, Pummel. So I could, I don't know if Pummel is in multiple colors, but if it did, uh, then, you know, we would say, okay, um, I can run, you know, six of those because I can run two of each color. Anyways, just a little rant there at the end, uh, as if you're new and that was interesting. Uh, let me know. I'm still kind of getting used to this game, having a lot of fun with it. Hope you are too. Thanks for watching.